Thanks so much for joining me today. My name is Christine. My pronouns are she and her, and today's class is a chair yoga class. Find yourself a safe, comfortable, and sturdy seat, and I will meet you there. Chair yoga is a wonderful, useful practice for days when you just can't get away from your desk, when you've had some kind of injury and you're trying to give it a chance to heal, or any other reason that you might find yourself needing to practice from a chair. It's also really useful for when you don't have room to get down on the floor or when getting down on the floor just isn't accessible. So for today's practice, let's go ahead and just move the whole body from this support. Um, as always in my classes, be sure to listen to your body, go as far as feels good to you, and just find your edge without pushing past it. If it feels comfortable for you, go ahead and close your eyes. If not, just take a soft gaze and begin to notice your breath. Just notice where you notice it right off the bat. Is it in the chest, the collarbones, maybe the end of your nose, in and out of your nostrils? Maybe it's nice and low and deep in the belly. Just notice where it is at first, just kind of taking a little assessment and then if you feel the space, you might go ahead and deepen the breath. Letting your lungs feel so much that the diaphragm presses downward and the belly expands. And exhaling so much that you have room for a whole nother big lung full of air. Inhale, slow, deep, fully. Exhale, slow, fully and complete. And as you just nurture and cultivate this nice, deep, slow breathing, begin to relax your face, your eyes, your jaw. Let your shoulders soften away from the ears. And then notice the bottoms of your feet, your sit bones on the support beneath you, your palms on your thighs, or maybe they're resting on your chair. Whatever's comfortable for you. Notice how soft you can let yourself be while still maintaining a tall spine and a big, generous breath. You might want to begin to lengthen the crown of your head up towards the sky Draw your heart upward as you let those shoulder blades soften downward. Beginning to open up, creating space in between each and every bone of your spine. And you might begin to notice that you can inhale even more broadly, expanding into the side body, expanding the rib cage. And exhale even more fully as you draw that rib cage inward to hug the lungs. We're going to continue this expansive full breathing for another five full breaths. Maybe the length of the exhale matches or even surpasses the length of your inhale. And 
keep your attention focused on the breath and the body. Allowing yourself a break from your busy mind. Just for this short practice. And maybe even beyond this practice. Always knowing that you can come back to your breath. to awareness of the sensations in your body, to give yourself some relief from the busy thoughts in your mind. And we all have them. One more full breath here. And then let's begin to just find some seated cat cows here Take your hands out to the tops of the knees or the thighs. Inhale and draw the heart forward through the biceps, broadening across the heart, and maybe, maybe looking up just a tiny little bit here to begin with. Exhale, draw the shoulder blades away from one another as you draw the chin to the chest. Inhale, heart forward, elbows bend. Look up any amount that's okay for the back of your neck. Exhale, rounding your spine, belly button towards the back body, chin to chest. Continue moving with your breath at your pace. Maybe you want to move slower than I am or faster than I am. Honor that within yourself. Remember, this is your practice. The more we can make choices for ourselves in our yoga practice, the more we can make choices for ourselves off the yoga mat or the yoga chair. Get better and better at making healthy choices for yourself here and then elsewhere too. Let's find two more rounds of cat cow. Maybe really exaggerating the movement by lifting the hands from the legs. Maybe opening up the arms as you inhale into cow. Maybe reach the fingertips forward as you exhale into cat. In fact, find your biggest, broadest movement that feels good today, and let's do that two more times together. And after you've found those two times, We'll inhale into cow, reach the arms up overhead, and exhale, hands to heart, coming back to a nice, tall, vertical spine. Just take a moment here. Notice your breath once again. Find that deep, slow, nourishing breath. And then we'll inhale those arms up high to the sky. Exhale, gentle twist to the right. Let the arms just float downward. Inhale, bring your arms up alongside the ears once again, coming back to center. And exhale, gentle twist to the left. Bring your fingertips down towards the earth. Inhale, back to center once again. Exhale, twist right. We'll do that one more time to the left. And then one more time to each side. Keep that nice tall spine, lifted heart, shoulder blades away from the ears. We'll come back to center after that last time to the left, and this time we'll come all the way to the right, and we're going to stay here and breathe a few rounds of breath. 
Notice where you have your left hand resting. It might be to the left knee, the right knee, the outside of the right thigh or your chair. Just let it feel natural and easeful. And then we'll inhale and raise those right fingertips up towards the sky as you look beyond that right tricep. And exhale, tilt to the left bringing that right hand to hover over the left knee. Well, not hover, it's like three, four feet up. Well, not four feet. Who am I kidding? Two, three feet up here above my knee. You might be able to go much deeper. You might not wanna go quite so far. Depends on how much range of motion you have in your ribs today. We'll take a couple breaths here. Remembering to keep your chin tucked and maybe looking down and beyond your right armpit or up towards the sky, whatever feels nice. One more inhale here. We'll exhale, tilt forward at the hips, bring the right hand down and just rest your forearms atop your knees or thighs. Inhale, a nice long spine right here, looking down towards the earth. Stay for the exhale. Keep those sit bones grounded down to your chair. Chin tucked, shoulder blades down the back. It might feel nice to stay here, or it could feel great on the low back to come all the way belly to thighs and let your hands come to rest on the top of your feet or on the ground or even to cradle your elbows in your palms and find a rag doll here, framing your face. Whatever feels nice, whatever feels good in that low back. One more full inhale wherever you are. On your exhale, let the head be heavy. And then as you inhale, once again, release any clasp that you have and roll up to a nice tall spine. When you get here, we'll roll the shoulders up and back and down a few times. And then let's inhale the arms up and overhead. Exhale, hands right down to your heart. Just take a moment here to become aware of any differences in the two sides of your body. And then again, notice the bottoms of your feet evenly pressing to the earth. Notice your sit bones pressing onto your support. Notice your palms pressing into one another and bring your attention back to your breath. Let's inhale, sweeping those arms out to the sides and up alongside the ears again. We'll exhale, twist to the left. Find that tall spine as you inhale. Soften as you exhale. And then we'll inhale those left fingertips up towards the sky Exhale, tilt over towards the right, kind of on a diagonal here, so that left palm is facing the right knee, just above a couple, three feet. Maybe you're looking up towards the sky or maybe down and beyond your tricep or your armpit. Breathe into the left side of the body. One more full inhale wherever you are. Exhale, we'll swing down and around to the front, bringing the forearms again to the tops of the thighs. It might feel nice to stay uplifted here if you took the full fold last time, or maybe you stayed uplifted last time and you wanna explore that full fold this time. So let's inhale that tall spine here. 
exhale wherever you are or come forward letting the arms dangle rest to the floor or feet or find that cross of the forearms and then switch whatever arm is in front it might feel awkward if you're not using that default position inhale big big breath here exhale tuck the chin let the weight of the head go hopefully you can hear me and you don't feel like i'm yelling at you but notice if you have a nice release in that low back keep those sit bones anchored to your chair one more full breath here As you exhale, release any clasp you have. And as you inhale, begin to roll that spine up one bone at a time. Vertebra by vertebra by vertebra. And then we'll reach those arms up to the sky once again. Exhale, and this time as you exhale and draw those fingers down, draw those thumbs just letting them brush across your forehead, the ridge of your nose, upper lip, lower lip, chin, down the throat, and all the way down to your heart. And then let's get some movement in the lower part of the body. So we can do that even from the chair. So from here, let's inhale, find that tall spine once again, and then we'll exhale, lift that right knee up any amount. You might stay right here, nice and lifted, or you can assist the right leg by bringing the hands to interlace underneath the thigh or around the front of the shin. And let's find some ankle movement here, rotating in one direction and then the other. We'll flex and point that right foot. And then curl your toes as if you're trying to pick up a pencil from the floor with your, with your foot. And then open and spread the toes wide. Curl the toes, gripping, open and spread. One more time, really scrunch up those toes, open and spread, relax and release. And then we will all release the hands from the shin or thigh. We're going to make some rotations in the hip here. So your, your knee might be much higher than mine or it might be much lower than mine, but from wherever you are, we're going to make some circles down and out and up and around. We'll do that five times on the right side. You might use your breath here, inhaling as you go down and out, exhaling as you come in and down. And then we'll reverse those circles, finding five more in this direction. Try to keep that long spine not hunching forward. Try to keep the jaw relaxed. Once you find five on each side, Hug that knee in any amount, maybe all the way up to the heart, and then release the right foot to the earth. Then we'll do the same thing on the left side. So we'll lift that left knee any amount. You can hold on to the back of the thigh, the front of the shin, or just use the power of your core to keep it lifted. We'll find those ankle rotations in each direction. And we'll point and flex the foot. And then we'll get some movement in those toes, getting that synovial fluid to all those tiny little joints that are supporting us all day by squeezing and releasing those toes. Just like you're trying to pick up a piece of paper or something from the floor and you don't want to get up off your chair to do it. And then we'll give that knee one more big hug and we'll make those rotations once again. 
So you might hold on to your chair here, but find that tall spine and we'll begin by going down and out and up and around. Inhaling as you come out, exhaling to tap into your core as you come in. We'll find five in this direction or sometimes four or six. And then we'll reverse those circles. Again, use your, in, your exhale to tap into that core to help move that leg. And once you've found five on each side, give that knee a big hug. And exhale to release. Find your tall spine once again. Find your deep, full, enriching breath once again. And then we'll do a little um, crisscross movement here. So we're going to inhale those arms out to a nice T. As you exhale, we're going to lift that left knee and tap it with the fingers or the palm of the hand. Inhale, both back to their start. Exhale, right knee up, left hand taps. Inhale, out to the side. And we'll keep moving like this from side to side, moving with the breath. Keeping that tall spine, keeping the core engaged to support the movement. Keeping your shoulders down and your jaw relaxed. You can move slower or faster than I'm moving. Again, make the choice that feels right for you and your body and your situation today. If you like, you can extend the legs, kicking the feet out. And we'll just go from side to side. You might notice your arms beginning to get tired. You might notice your legs beginning to get tired. Just let yourself find some ease with the breath, softness in the neck and shoulders, and see if you can stick with it just a little longer than you technically want to. Not to the point of pain, obviously. Well, not obviously. <laughs> Sometimes people think no pain, no gain, but I don't like that philosophy. So, not obviously, not to the point of pain. And we'll do one more to each side. Last time you tap your right leg is the last time. Let's shake out those arms. Lean back in your chair, pick your feet up and kick them out. And hey, if you've got a sprained ankle or a broken leg, just kick out the one foot you can and then we'll come back to our nice tall seat we've gotten lots of healthy movement in the spine today you might even notice your heart rate or your breath rate slightly elevated let's come back to that attention on the breath that connection to that knee deep nourishing breath And maybe the next three breaths, let's make them those big cleansing breaths with a big exhale. And as you exhale, let it go out the nose or the mouth and let it go as if you're just dropping a heavy weight that you've been carrying all day. So we'll inhale through the nose. Let it go. Two more like that. Inhaling through the nose. Big exhale, letting it all go. <sighs> and then we'll find our tall spine. Retuck that chin. Let the shoulders come away from the ears. Let's bring the right hand to the left shoulder, the left hand to the right shoulder. We'll bring the chin down towards the chest. Just give yourself a little bit of a hug here. And notice the stretch in the back of the neck and the tops of the shoulders. You might draw that left ear over towards the left shoulder or down towards the left elbow. 
take a full breath here. As you exhale, release the hands. Bring the left hand to the right shoulder, the right hand to the left shoulder, chin to chest. Nice big stretch here. Nice little hug for yourself. Maybe a little more into the left side of the neck if you bring the right ear towards right shoulder or right elbow. Another full breath here. Exhale, releasing the hands, chin to chest. Inhale, look up towards the sky. Bring your hands up into your view, palms together. Exhale, bringing your hands right down to your heart. In the yoga tradition, there is a Shanti mantra, the peace mantra, and it goes Loka Samasta Suki no Bhavantu. And it translates somewhat into English into may all beings everywhere be happy and free. And may my thoughts, words, deeds, and actions contribute to that in some way. Om peace, peace, peace. Namaste. And remember, you're one of those beings too. Take good care. Bye for now.